It vacuums, it mops, it self cleans, it auto empties its dust and dirty water. It even refills itself with clean water. I'm willing to bet this is the smartest smart vacuum your family has ever seen. Hey, hey, it's Asha Renee, and welcome back to my sustainable family channel with smart tech videos documenting life inside of our solar powered smart home, our electric car adventures, vegan family tips, and more. If you're into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. Today, we are diving into the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. It is unlike any robot vacuum cleaner I've ever seen, right? Like robot vacuum cleaners are nothing new at this point. I got my first one back in 2016 when we got married. It was on our registry, we still have it, but man, let me tell you, robot vacuums have come a long way since then. Okay, my little old school robot vacuum cleaner is light years behind the Roborock S7 Max Ultra. And before we go over it, just to let you know, the links to this thing are down below in the description. So first things first, let me explain why I use a robot vacuum cleaner in one word. Husky. If you know anything about Huskies, then you already know I don't need to say another word. I also have a husband who likes to snack and drop crumbs on the floor. I even have an adorable one-year-old who you would think is super messy, but no, nope, neither of these individuals are actually why I got a robot vacuum and mop. It's just because Husky. Okay, so let's break down what makes this robot vacuum the ultimate cleaning machine. Here are your options for the S7 Max V series. So you can get this vacuum by itself if you want, which just comes with a standard charging station. This will run you about $860, or for $300 more, you can step it up and get the S7 Max V Plus, which comes with an auto emptying dust bin, which is cool and all, but it's not as impressive as the S7 Max V Ultra, which also comes with mop washing and tank refilling features for an additional $240. The Roborock team sent this version to me and trust the automatic self-cleaning, tank refilling, and mop washing dock works hard for the extra coins you pay for it. The vacuum itself is the same across all of these options. The only thing that changes is the dock and the price tag. All right, now let's talk about installation, okay? It is truly straightforward. It comes with a quick start guide to literally help you set this thing up quickly. I picked the spot where I wanted to put the dock and I laid it down flat. Then I attached the base and connected the power cable to the back of the door. It even has a storage slot to keep excess cables inside of it, which makes it more tidy. Next, I pressed the power button to power on the robot vacuum and then placed it on the dock to charge. Easy peasy. Now while that was charging, I downloaded the app and when I was ready, I followed the instructions in the app to connect it to my Wi-Fi and get it set up. The last step was to let it map out my home. It did its thing and it went from room to room getting familiar with the layout of the level it was on. The robot vacuum is bomb and all, but really the magic is in the dock. With the dock, you basically get two robots instead of one. The dock is the robot that manages your other robot. It's called the rock dock and it is next level. Not only does it automatically empty the dust that was collected by the vacuum, it also self cleans the mop, empties the dirty water and refills it with clean water. And look how big the three bins are. Because of its size, it can collect a ton of dust so you can go several weeks if you want without changing the bag. My only gripe with this is that for sustainability purposes, I wish the bag was reusable instead of disposable. But despite that, I can really appreciate the self-seal design of the dust bag. Unlike other vacuums where when you empty the bag, the dust just kind of flies everywhere. You don't have to deal with all that with this one. Now let's take a look at the other two bins. We have the dirty water tank and the clean water tank. This is so dope. It utilizes a self-washing system, which means after docking and emptying the dustbin, the S7 Max V Ultra will wash its mopping cloth, empty the water into the dirty water tank, and then refill itself from the clean water tank. It's kind of loud, but it is what it is. The design of the system is a time saver because most other robot mops require you to manually fill the water tank, but this one automatically fills the internal water tank from its larger water tank in the docking station. It can hold three liters of fresh water, and depending on how often you run this and how big your floor plan is, those factors are all gonna determine how long you can go before needing to refill the tank with clean water. The last thing I wanna touch on with the docking station is the charge time, which is pretty efficient. The dock 
Shock is a fast charger, meaning it charges 30% faster than previous models. They also released an off-peak charging feature, which if you enable it, it will only charge during the peak hours, which is determined by your particular energy provider. Our home is solar powered, but I still find this useful. And I think it's especially great for any family who doesn't have solar panels. You know, if you wanna reduce the carbon footprint of the vacuum. Okay, now let's see this baby in action. The vacuum itself is powerful. They cranked up the Sunshine power to 5,100 pascals, which is more than double the power of their Roborock S7. It doesn't take much to suck up husky hair, but it is powerful enough to pick up other hard to clean messes. The mopping is equally as efficient. It has a unique VibraRaise intelligent mopping system. Unlike other robot vacuums that avoid carpets when they're in the middle of mopping, this one is intelligent enough to switch from mopping to vacuum mode when it detects carpet by raising the mopping plate, allowing it to mop your hard floors and vacuum your low to medium pile carpets in a single pass. When just vacuuming, the robot automatically increases its suction power over carpeting. It uses advanced technology to efficiently navigate your home. Powered by machine learning and a dedicated neural processing unit in combination with an RGB camera and structured light 3D scanner, this system allows the robot to recognize and bypass even small objects, including loose cables, shoes, socks, and our kids' toys, which are definitely always on the floor. It even has a light that is activated in darker spaces so it can see in the dark. With its mapping feature, you can see the map in your app with the rooms labeled, and you have the option to manually edit individual rooms, add furniture, and even create no-go zones to prevent the robot from entering into certain areas. You can use the map to select a specific area that you want the vacuum to go spot clean. It'll go to that location and clean up the mess in that particular area. Last but not least, the particularly random feature it has that never crossed my mind when dealing with other robot vacuums is a video camera and a microphone to make video calls. I haven't been in any kind of scenario where I really needed this feature. It could come in handy to spy on my fur baby when we're not at home, but I probably won't because he doesn't like robot vacuum cleaners and it would probably just disturb him if I randomly turned it on and commanded it to go sneak up on him. He wouldn't like that. But the feature is there and if you ever need it to see inside your home or shout at someone when you're not there, you know, it's a thing. It exists, so use it. That's all I got for today. Links are below if you wanna buy this for your home. Honestly, this is truly the dopest smart vacuum I've ever used. I moved my old one to the basement and now I use this one on the main level where most of the traffic happens in my home. There are so, so many features that I could have gone over, but I just be here all day. So I focus on the ones I love the most. And yeah, I just, I adore this little device. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smart tech videos just like this. You can also find me on the SHE Living app and streaming service. They have tons of smart home shows on there that can help you slay your sustainable smart home goals, including my own episode. And again, just keep the description because I put links to everything down below. I'll catch you next week in a new video and until then, stay green y'all.